What's up guys, Chad CRC back with you here, and this is going to be part two of my Canasty Cougar 6 inch frame tuning. And this is cr a cruise test, and I wanted to, first of all, I made some sharpness adjustments and some contrast and saturation adjustments on here because I had a few people comment saying that you're never going to see vibrations when you're shooting in flat and all that stuff, so I enhanced all that stuff a little bit couple things by blade props the MB Primo 2207 2450 motors are just running butter smooth props are all completely balanced build is solid all that kind of stuff and we'll put up the video part one up here in the top so you can take a look at that and we'll go over a little bit more of what's going on here in the video so this is really ultimately what I want to build too. I don't want just a nice, fast, jello-free proximity, vibration-free. Sorry, I need to use vibration and not jello because I still could get jello. Vibration-free ship. So I can cruise like this or I can rip around and everything's good. And if you zoom in here and I'm at 500%, um, you know, I can still see individual twig branches everything like that I don't see any super crazy vibrations or nothing like that at all even zoomed in at 500% I mean this is about as good as I'm gonna get at least for now until there's some better props or something like that so I just wanted to kind of show everybody that real quick um, so this is a 13 milla, 1300 milliamp 5S China Hobby Line pack that I did two laps around my circuit here with crossfire. Total flight time is about a little over five minutes. Let's say 445 just to be safe, landing at around 17.2, 17.3 volts. And I was pulling my Richard uh, Shelton power curve 28 to 30 percent throttle for most of the time here cruising at about 14 to 15 amps and I covered probably 4.5 to 4.8 miles um, with a furthest distance from corner to corner my driveway which is uh, right there on the left where I'm standing all the way back to the corner of that lake that's about 1.1 miles itself so you know the results are awesome the video is in my case good enough for me for vibe free I'm doing this on a 27 inch iMac and nobody is a bigger scrutinizer of my videos than myself trust me because I'm the one that's been going in and out of this front door for months hundreds of times probably coming back in here looking at the footage and everything like that so I'm gonna pretty much say that mission is accomplished on here and I actually did change my props from yesterday just to check and make sure that I could throw another set of my balance props on here and that everything would be all good um, Weather and everything does play, play a factor in this. Today, very light winds, two to three miles per hour, uh, 40 degree temperature, so didn't really have to worry about that here on the first uh, day of winter and the shortest day of the year. When it gets cold, things are kind of going to get tighter and resonate probably a little bit more. So what I'll do is what I told everybody yesterday in the video except I'll probably set up three different PID profiles and I'll probably just knock each profile down a little bit as far as uh, P gains and increase the D gains maybe a click or two um, in opposite directions on each profile so that way depending upon weather conditions and I'll do some testing on that and let you guys know and let's see the difference between flying in 40 degrees and flying in 20 degree weather because we've got some 20 degree weather coming up on us as well and I also want to 
see what the, the maximum winds are that I can fly this in to get respectable uh, video that I'm happy with. Because the whole point of this is to be able to just pack up, go, trust the fact that I'm going to get video. I don't want to go somewhere and fly this six inch and not get good video. And, you know, I don't want to have to carry my five inch along with me too, even though I probably will for right now. But anyway, I just wanted to put some more evidence out there on how things are looking and I am going to start digging into all of the data because that to me is the most important part. I want to see what my black box looks like and all that stuff. So thanks for watching.